Hey, Gemini. <laughs> yeah, try to talk. It's little mama, little mama. This is going to be a love reading for you guys for February 2022. Y'all know the deal. Check your house placements. And if this is not your story, it may not be for you. So let's see. I hope nobody's shaking the table, Gemini. You and your other Gemini. <laughs> Hard work ahead. Okay. Shaking the tables. Oh, that's your business. We got a valley, deep personal strength and peace that assures success. And then I'm going to give you another one. We got a broken wishbone because you can't get all these. Wish will not be granted. Okay. Gemini, you and your other Gemini. Well, I mean, this is something about firecrackers. So I don't know. I'm going to just put this firecracker like right here for some reason. That's what they had said. Keep it there. But, uh. I don't know if you uh, are dealing with somebody that's disappointed. I don't know if you got a deep connection with somebody. You could be focusing on your work, but uh, there's going to be some kind of excitement. Mm -hmm. Gemini, you and your other Gemini. But uh, see, Gemini, mm. yeah, somebody clearly want to say something to you. There was some kind of betrayal. And uh, whoever this person was, right, I don't know if you upset somebody. You and your other Gemini, that's what they have said. Gemini said, it ain't me, all right, Gemini, but I don't know. Somebody saw something or did you see something and uh, you're saying a wish will not be granted, especially if somebody's trying to reconnect with you. I don't know, Gemini. Mm. Yeah, you moved away somewhere. Gemini, you and your energy, I don't know if you're dealing with another air sign. Could be a Libra. Could be an Aquarius. But whatever it is, you're clearly saying to somebody, if they can't get their shit together, you're out. <laughs> I mean, your ancestors is like, listen, let's go. I don't know, something nudging you, but you had to cut something out. Mm -hmm. You said it's time to go. All right, uh, Gemini. Yeah, because you done said something is over. I don't know if you're dealing with a Scorpio, but you're going through this transformation. You done let bygones be bygones, and uh, you said you out. I don't know if you're dealing with a Scorpio or a Cancer, but you said you're moving forward. All right, uh, Gemini, I hear you. Shoot. We got this King of Wands here, and then we got this uh, Four of Pentacles here. So, if you so happen to be dealing with a Leo, an Aries, or a Sag, this is a prominent Leo, uh, somebody's not seeing eye to eye with somebody. But uh, I don't know if somebody's in deep regret because they're deeply reflecting on something. See how they looking? They're like, damn, I don't want to let Gem God, Gemini had let me go. and uh, But they don't want to let your ass go. Shit. <laughs> Holding back. We got Taurus here. The hair fine. I don't know if it had to do with a commitment or some kind of partnership. I don't know if somebody got to let go of a commitment, but the most I got your back. And uh, certain things is happening within divine timing. Because with this Ten of Wands, you said, yeah, it could have been a burden and no one to come back out. Now, two tens is an ending. So, uh, Gemini, did you make this final decision saying that you had to cut something out? I don't know if you put a lot of work in this relationship with somebody. And something was definitely a burden, and you just had to release some shit and let it go. And you just focusing back on you. And you, I'm hearing you said no more. See, this is why you're moving away. Spirit got you with the Six of Swords. All right, Gemini. Mm -mm -mm. But Gemini, see, you want to come back out. As you're moving away to calmer waters, right? It's like you want a better opportunity, and you ain't looking back. But somebody wants to keep coming back. But uh, Gemini is like, listen, retro, Mercury retrograde is almost over because I don't know if you're dealing with Pisces, but now you're just looking at things in a different perspective. There's like a standstill. I don't know if this fire sign is deeply reflecting on something in terms of the pros, pros and cons, in terms of them messing up. And you had said what you said. You said you're gone because you said you wanted some balance in your life. You want equalities. You're going to be receiving some kind of payouts because of the fact that you released and let something go. Hard work ahead. That wish will not be granted for them, but it will be for you because mm -mm -mm, the scales have been balanced. See, Gemini is like, listen, I don't want to fight. It's too much of a battle. Mm -mm -mm. But a new offer is coming in for you. I don't know if you're thinking about your money, but hard work is paid ahead for you. Okay. And deep personal strength and peace that assures success. You're going to be successful no matter what. Mm. Are you moving forward towards an emperor or is an emperor moving forward towards you? This emperor definitely wants to say something to you. I don't know if you're dealing with an Aries or a Taurus, or you just in an energy where you're just focusing on your money. Libra has something similar. I don't know if you're dealing with a Libra. But uh, the way this is coming, she's either trying to tell you. Listen, 
I don't know if you deal with Aquarius because they had the King of Cups and also the Emperor too. Mm -mm -mm. What is this King of Cups? Acting like a fool. I don't know if it's an Aquarius. I just told you. What does this King of Cups want to say to you if you so happily be dealing with a Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces? Mm -mm -mm. Ah, they want to take a leap of faith with you. I don't know if it's a Virgo or an Aquarius, but there's some kind of decision. You may not see it, but you can definitely hear something that's going on. I don't know if somebody wants you to cut somebody out. Mm -mm -mm. But you said you're moving forward. Shit. I don't know if you're moving forward towards a fire sign. I don't know if it's a water sign. Or it could this be this emperor embodying uh, both king energies because the emperor is all four kings in one? Or are you just in this energy where it's like, yeah, you know how to master your emotions. And it's like, you don't want to be dealing with somebody that's in and out. And you definitely ain't trying to be labeled as a playboy or play girl. But we got three men on the board. Mm, mm, mm. Masculine, masculine, feminine, feminine. doesn't matter. We love in here. But the point is, it's like, Gemini, you're going to make a decision. Who are you going to be moving forward towards? Or are you just leaving the situation? Are you getting up in the car? You're like, fuck it. It's time for you to go. Because <laughs> you said you're focusing on your happy. Are you moving forward towards this, Leo? Mm. But what does this emperor want to say to you, uh, Gemini, Gemini? Shit. <laughs> they, they want you to walk away. They want you to make a final decision. <sighs> or flipping it. Damn, did you break somebody's heart? Did you break too harsh, Gemini? You and your other Gemini? Gemini's like, I'm not doing nothing. But Gemini, I was doing that. Did you break this emperor's heart? Or does this emperor want you to make a final decision and move forward towards them? Mm. Or is this emperor stressed out, can't sleep, because you made a final decision to end something? Because something was a burden. Mm, mm, mm. But uh, with this king of wands, right? Mm, mm, mm. What they want to say to you? Ah, they know you got choices. They want you to get away with them because they're looking at your ass as a counterpart. Uh, I'm hearing they're saying the Gemini is mine. But either way, Gemini, somebody going to be disappointed because I don't know who you going to choose, Gemini. But uh, what's up with these cups? Okay, who's making you happy? Whoever you choose, Gemini. Gemini, are you just saying, listen, you're transmuting a lot of energy. Something had to end. And you're seeking this new beginning. And you want a happy home life. You want to be with somebody that's going to make you happy. Mm, mm, mm. But Gemini, you got to cut somebody out because this is your ass. <laughs> or is it a Libra? Oh, no, Gemini. Gemini, what are you going to do? Because, uh... You want some more excitement in your life, and uh, I don't know who you got a deep connection with, but you got hard work ahead, and please don't shake no tables. <laughs> Keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type of expectations. Uh, uh, uh. All right, Gemini, what's this other one? See, a retreat. I told you somebody want to get away with you. You got some choices. Who are you picking to choose? Because somebody wants to talk to you about an engagement, Gemini. That's your business. Your love life is ascending to a high levels of commitment. I mean, the hair upon card came out. Mm, mm, mm. That's the popper. But it's up to you. Who you got to choose? Who you going to cut out, Gemini? I don't know. But whoever it is, it's talking about Kurtz. But Gemini's like, listen, I find the inner strength to face fear with confidence about your self-esteem you possess the gifts of the soul that benefits you and others and uh, gemini i know your ass is ass <laughs> using your imagination you embrace and nurse the creative aspects <laughs> of your mind gemini you in your head about something i mean are you always over in your head gemini gemini cutting the deck shit gemini they telling on you is it a brunette female is it a mature man i don't know is it a fair male i don't know gemini but gemini Somebody wants you to make a decision. Mm -mm -mm. You thinking about some Gemini. Somebody thinking about you. Is it a... All right, Gemini. Gemini. <laughs> Gemini. And this is a love reading, Gemini. Your ass got choices. And somebody's telling on your ass. Somebody about to shake the table, Gemini. 